<laughs> Welcome to Monday Music Minute. I'm Eric Gill with St. Lucie County's Communications Division. I'm Mark Fried with the St. Lucie County Library System. Each week we come in this web series, we tell you our favorite musical finds on Freegal and Hoopla, which are two services that allow you to stream music, movies, and TV shows. All you need is an internet connection and a valid St. Lucie County library card. So Mark, what are you streaming this week? Uh, this week I'm streaming Louise Post and Nina Gordon, who are both better known as uh, the two singer guitarists for the alt-rock band Veruca Salt. Both have had solo releases since the forming, dissolving, and reforming of Veruca Salt. Gordon initially left the band in 1998 and went on to release two solo records that are available on Hoopla. The first was 2000's Tonight and the Rest of My Life, which is a more popish recording move uh, which moved her on past the acrimonious split with Gordon. Her second release was 2006 Bleeding Heart Graffiti. It is a good record, but was met with uh, mixed reviews. I still like it. Uh, after the split up, Gordon carried on with Ver Veruca Salt before going into hiatus. Uh, the ladies um, reconnected and mended their friendship. They've played live shows and released a great record since then. Uh, then COVID-19 hit. Gordon has continued to write songs uh, and lay down tracks for her band. Uh, during her creative process, she decided that some of these new songs were uh, too personal to be uh, recorded with Veruca Salt, so she released them as a, uh, her debut solo project. The record captures her 90s rocking style with some modern elements mixed in. Uh, given that it was written during COVID-19, the album can feel a bit retrospective and a bit insular. Post is a strong songwriter and can still rock out with the best of them. Uh, you can listen to Sleepwalker on Hoopla. I'm a fan of both and won't play favorites. I'm happy that they reconnected with Veruca Salt and hope they make more music in the future. What do you got? Well, it's been a few minutes since I plugged a covers album, but I think Freegal's figured out my musical learnings and they recommended recently Recycled Recipes Volume 2 by Donovan Frankenritter. Franken Ritter was a professional surfer who grew up under the California stars and was first signed to Brushfire Records in 2004. That's a label that was created by a fellow laid back bonfire, beach folky, and fellow surfer Jack Johnson. Volume 2 of Franken Ritter's Recycled Recipes features six covers with that sun soaked, salt water drenched vocal stylings of his. It's laid back 70s AM gold. He strums excellent versions of In Excess's Don't Change, Paul Simon's Slip Sliding Away. And my favorite on the album is his take on Edie Brickell and the New Bohemian Circle. It's a solid EP of covers, but I could have done without his take of Tom Petty's American Girl, especially after seeing Old Crow Medicine Show play that live blistering version with a barn burning fiddle solo. It's a high bar to reach. I just wish Freewell had volume one of his recycled recipes because I like to know what's on it. That does it for this week's Monday Music Minute. See you next Monday.